Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video. Now, this is one of the videos that we you all have been waiting for. This is going to be me addressing a lot of the concerns and stuff and a lot of my thoughts on it. Then, upcoming in the next video, we're going to be going over what me and Trevor talked about. So, yeah, um, if you want to stay tuned for that, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you don't miss that video. But, yeah, man, um, <clears throat> starting out, we're going to be having the, the big quid conversation, man. So, Everybody's been panicking like, oh, VV was supposed to be so far ahead. This new company has come out with 325 licenses. Oh, my God. They have so many licenses. They're so far ahead of VV. Marvel. They have Marvel. They have Disney. They have Hello Kitty. Thanks to Alcon. But they have Hello Kitty, Funko. And then they have, they're, they're backed by the Sandbox, Delta. All the, Look at who they're backed by. Basically, so let me get this straight. The, 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 the company that y'all are worried about is the company backed by all these people. They got all these brands, all these licenses, and you like no one knows that they exist. No one cares. Like let, like let's let's look at their downloads. Like let's look at their installs. Like let, let's just do some 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 quick numbers. Do a little bit do due, due diligence. Like <clears throat> their installs. This is the this is the Quid app right here. Quid Digital Collectibles. A million, a million plus, a million plus with one Batman license. VV got like a quarter of that. One, like that's what we doing right now. That that is what this is what the hype is about. This is what everybody's worried about. One million plus. You have like VV pulled out a Batman license and did and did what it did. And you have Marvel. You have Batman. You have honestly, it sounds like a shitty shitty team. It sounds like sounds like hey. So something ain't right over there in that camp. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> five years of vintage digital trading cards and figures. I hope uh, have they been around for five years? What does that mean? I hope they have not been around for five years because if they have, this is even more pathetic. But um, <clears throat> yeah, let's keep it a hundred, bro. We we finna dig into this. Look at this. Look at the prices that they charged. They sold that, huh? They sold that. Look at that. Look at their prices. Um, now, I can't swear for the ac accuracy of this. I definitely can't swear for the accuracy of this information. But, oh, y'all can't see it. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Gotta make sure y'all can see this. Oh, actually, if I do this, you should be able to see it. Uh, so if I do that, you should be able to see it right there. See, so look at this. So it pushed it over. <clears throat> so as you can see, um... This is, and since y'all know I didn't expect Element this, let me refresh the page again. So let me refresh the page. So there you go. So Quid. This is the Quid app, right? 70K last month. 70K last month. So you mean to tell me you have all these licenses, 325 different brands, all these licenses, and you making 70K a month when VV does that, like, time and time again in one drop like vv does a million a drop damn near and you're doing that in one month like if vv drops every single week vv is going to make like vv is going to make about four million for that month and you're making seventy thousand. and then the goal for vv by the way the goal for vv is to get to the point where we have multiple drops a day on tuesdays and multiple drops a day on thursdays so you doing 70k in a month and this is the company that people are worried about right now I mean, we like at some point we just gotta stop the cap. We really gotta stop the cap. Um, so we gonna we gonna really d dive into the specifics though. Um, but look at look at the stuff that they have been saying. This company has been taking shots at VV. Um, so as you can see, um, there is oh somebody asked, will a quid token come? They said there is a role not to pump and get rich. But to reward collectors for helping us last 100 years. Collectibles companies eventually wind up exploiting their customers with rising prices and oversupply. A token could make that impossible. So basically, everything that they just listed out right now is not a problem or concern at all for VV. Everything they just listed out is not a problem or concern at all for VV. But look at, they're verified. They have a verified check mark. VV is not verified, by the way. VV is not verified. How many followers do they have? Like they have thirteen thousand followers, and and VV is look, they have two likes, bro. They have like they have two likes. 
the VV the VV YouTubers get. I ain't even. I, let me let me not let me not let me not let me not cook them too bad. Um. So how do you see Quid's future in comparison to VV? <clears throat> Actual NFTs for a start. So this is taking shots. So if you don't know right now, even though. VV, that like the app and the collectibles are being built as digital collectibles and they're being built as NFTs. They're not technically on the blockchain right now because VV is going to actually be switching from GoChain to a new blockchain eventually. So they can't really do that right now and they also are still finding out some details with some of the licensors. So um, <clears throat> while some licensors are, okay, yeah, go ahead, throw it on the blockchain. We need that on the blockchain. It has to go on the blockchain. Other licensors are like, ah, we don't really know. Bitcoin was just a scam. I'm, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, like, And then this stuff going on with Bitcoin is probably not helping in negotiations right now because a lot of companies are scared of the blockchain. Like, so <clears throat> that being said, it's not, it's not very easy to, to do, first off, but that is in the works. VV are simply holding it, holding it right now as they keep ironing out the platform, ironing out deals and stuff with licensors and stuff like that. And then eventually they are going to put it on the blockchain. Um, and if you want to know whose words you can trust, this this company is the company that was been, has, that was that was promoted by Mr. Beast for like a year, a year straight. This company was being promoted for like Mr. Beast, and and it only got a million downloads, and it had three hundred twenty five licenses. Like they 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 did shitty marketing, like. Alcon took one one game. Alcon took one name, Pokemon, made it a game, made it a, a TV like made it a TV show popular. Like Alcon did so much with Pokemon, and they had every powerful brand in the world damn near, and still managed to flop. Still managed to only bring in seventy k in revenue a month. Are you kidding me? Like that? But hey, I mean, <clears throat> then he said after that, lazy minting, chain agnot. I don't know that word, man. Listen, you listen, your boy dropped out. We don't talk about that. <laughs> uh, let's see. More collector agency. Open compatible compat open compatible bi-directionally. Cash metagames. Important importantly, educate and full disclosure on what you're buying and what you can really do post mint. This is where we gotta stop the cap. Cause they're lying. Educate and full disclosure. Let's look at this. So now we're going to dig into the specifics. So as you can see, <clears throat> collect officially licensed digital collectibles from 325 of the world's most beloved brands. Coming soon to the blockchain. They're talking as if they're competition with Vivi. And they said coming soon to the... They're not even on the blockchain. They, they don't have a token. They don't have any... They don't have NFTs. And let's say they did have... Let, let's say they did have a token. Let's say they did... They were on the blockchain... They don't have permission to put any of these licenses on the blockchain. You could have a million licenses. If not one of them gave you permission to use their content on the blockchain, you can't use it on the blockchain. So you know what this means? Basically, when you have a license, it comes with a specific set of rules. So you take a license, you get permission to do one thing with that license. For instance, I, I posted on my, Inst on my, on my Twitter, I, I made an example. <clears throat> if... I got permission to start a poster business and I, I convinced Marvel to let me use Iron Man on my posters for, for child-friendly content. I can make child-friendly posters of Iron Man, right? I can sell my posters. It's perfectly fine. That's all within the agreement. If I start putting Iron Man on posters next to porn stars, if you got Cherokee there and thunder thighs and clap that and bounce them cheeks, like, do you really think that they gonna, they not going to have a problem with Iron Man being next to that? So this is this is where licensing and the nuances of licenses is very important because I can't just say to the licensor, "What you mean I can't put Iron Man next to these butt cheeks?" You said I can put it on posters. No, nope, there's nuances in these agreements. So just because you have access to 325 licenses does not mean that you can do whatever the hell you want with these licenses, and that is what VV has been spending these last few years doing. They've been taking these meetings they've been the first ones in here taking these meetings convincing these people yo put it on the blockchain the blockchain is this they, they've been trying to educate people on what the blockchain was they've been trying to explain what the blockchain was and why it's going to set them apart because the blockchain brings ownership the reason that you can have all of this stuff right here like honestly the reason that this 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 project is a flop as it is is because you like yeah you can buy it 
but what can you do with it? It's not valuable after you buy it. So you're spending $350 for something just because it's the first edition, but what is it? Like, like what is it? Like, how, like what, what can you do with it? Can you put that into your um, um, asset wallet? Like, where, where can you sell that at? What, what, like, what happens next? Nothing. Nothing happens next. You can probably sell it to another fan or something who uses Quid, but outside of that, what are you going to do with it? It's not on the blockchain. It holds no real value, and they can just make as much of this stuff as they want to, because it's not um, <coughs> it's not really um, it's not an NFT. So that being said, <coughs> licensing is very very difficult to do. So so essentially, <coughs> if they want to use these three hundred and twenty five brands on the blockchain, <coughs> they have to go back and meet with all these companies again, all three hundred and twenty five of them. Like, bro, you, let's let's say they only had to meet with 10 people. <clears throat> let's say they had to meet with 10 companies. How long do you think that it would take 10 companies to convince them and to try and convince them to get them on the blockchain? And then, <clears throat> keep this in mind. As they approach Marvel, as they approach Marvel, no, let's, let's do one that's 100% confirmed that we know there. They, they just teased this today, but let's do, let's do Adventure Time. <clears throat> as they approach Adventure Time, they have to walk into Adventure Time's office and be like... <clears throat> Yo, um, could you could, could we have the ability to use your license on the blockchain? Um, they're gonna be like, huh? We already have VV doing that. What do you bring to the table that's different? Um, <clears throat> what like how does that conversation go? Because VV came to them years ago. VV was talking about this years ago. They just started talking about, oh, we should put this on the blockchain now. That'll make it a success. Like <clears throat> they they started a company. The company failed. Then they was like, hmm, actually, it's a good idea, but if we throw it on the blockchain like Vivi is doing, that might work. So they essentially got their idea from Vivi, and now that they want to put it on the blockchain after seeing Vivi's success and Vivi actually making something work, which they could never make work, like now, now they're trying to change it up and just throw it on the blockchain in hopes that that's going to help them. This is a last niche attempt to um, make something happen. <clears throat> and then they've already shown all their cards. Like, look how... So... <clears throat> That's what we're going to talk about a little bit. Quid promoted through Mr. Beast. VV has had no promotion outside of just like, and this is um, outside of just like the crypto channels and stuff talking about it. Like VV has had no promotion. They have not promoted to like Naruto fans or well, not we don't have Naruto obviously, or that's not confirmed yet. But they have not promoted to Batman fans or anything like that. Um, then you have um, them them um. The license, the, the license restrictions of Quid, them them showing their full hand immediately. They 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 showed every single license that they have already. They've already shown everything that they have, and it still wasn't enough to build up excitement. VV is going about it strategically. They're only showing licenses here and there, and then when they show a license, it's a big drop coming with the license, and then it's a big deal. People actually care. <clears throat> so with no promotion, we're doing better than um, Quid is. Um, <clears throat> no advertising, and also. One thing that Vivi is doing, they actually hired a PR agency. They're, they're P, they hired a PR agency. They've been throwing out hints. They've been building hype. They've been engaging with the community. Who, who's the owners of Quid? How many times have you all talked with the owners of Quid? They can't really answer that, right? Like, no, like Quid has millions of downloads. And the, they don't. it's not like they, they're constantly engaging with the community and stuff like Vivi. They're not like that. Like they don't, they don't have that. They don't have these faces. Like you, you can, you can go and find um, Trevor's face on memes and Reese face on memes and, and all types of stuff in the community because they're just that engaged and just that down to earth with their community. Like this, this level of like this level of commitment to your community. That's not something that at any company does, and it's probably the difference between why they're selling, why they're selling seventy thousand a month with like a million downloads and a bunch of people, and <clears throat> VV can sell a million in a day. Like, Vivi can sell a million in damn near 10 minutes. It's like, his levels to this. It take you a month to raise 70,000. It take Vivi 10 minutes to raise a million. It's it's like, it's really, it's really levels to this. So, um, and then Vivi was forward thinking as well. So they have the social features, the social aspect. So because Vivi is trying to build the Disneyland, Vivi was not just trying to build collectibles. They weren't just trying to build all, have all of these things that you can just, like, what do you do with it next? They're not just, they, they didn't want to just have all of these things. They wanted to build a community. They wanted things that you could do with it. They wanted, like, 
<clears throat> and I tweeted all this out. If you want to go check out my tweets for some more information and some more thoughts that I have, go and check that out. But they had social features so you can see people taking pictures. So And then they're adding video features. Video features is coming soon and that was confirmed. So the way that people are taking pictures with their with the um, NFTs, you're going to be able to like make videos and make TikTok dances and stuff like that with these same NFTs. And that's going to be big as well. So... <coughs> That being said, man, um, <clears throat> it's a lot of cap in here. It, it, and people being uneducated or, or uninformed are making it seem like Quid is much closer to VV than they actually are. No. <clears throat> 325. First off, like what was difficult about VV is they was the first, they were the first ones going to these companies, getting the permission to use it on the blockchain. <clears throat> they were the first ones doing this. You can say it's going to be easier for companies coming after. <clears throat> it's going to be easy because now these companies are already warmed up by working with Vivi. But at the exact same time, now these companies have to have, have to prove what they bring to the table over Vivi. <clears throat> and a lot of people have been talking about, oh, but this is a billion dollar company. Um, Alcon was like, so the, the company is literally worth a billion dollars, right? So Alcon made a billion dollars for 25 years. You do the math. Al Khan, one guy by himself, made a billion dollars for 25 years. <clears throat> That's over 25 billion from one man. So, saying, "Oh, this NFT company, um, this NFT company is crazy. They're they're a billion dollar company. Like VV stands no chance. Who do you like? In 25 years, that company that you think could be a threat to VV? In 25 years, maybe yes, maybe they'll be a, th maybe they'll get to the level that Al Khan is at right now. They got 25 good years." going strong ahead of them. <clears throat> they have to make a billion dollars for 24 more years, then they'll be on the same level as Alcon. Well, they'll be on the same level as Alcon right now because if he just keeps stepping it up from here and VV, this project right here, helps it so he goes from making one billion a year to goes to making two, five, ten billion or something crazy, <clears throat> it's just levels. You never know. And Alcon, when he, what he said about the VV project is the VV project reminds him of when he first found Pokemon and how how the Pokemon process went when it came to building Pokemon to where it's at today. He's, he said that himself. VV reminds him of that. The results they're seeing, the things that they're doing, the, the stuff that's being created, the licenses, the, the stuff that's being secured. VV reminds him of his most successful project in his life. That was said from Alcon himself. So <clears throat> a, a billionaire... A guy who has a legendary guy who found who helped find Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, all this stuff, who brought these things to the world. Ninja Turtles, Hello Kitty. The, the guy who helped bring all this to the world believes in VV that much. Like, come on now. <clears throat> so this is basically just my thoughts. This is my thoughts and my opinions on a lot of this stuff. Um We are gonna jump into some of what Trevor um, say it in the next video, so stay tuned for that, man. But let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. You got any questions and concerns? I'll try to go through and answer some of them in an um, upcoming video, but that's pretty much it, yo. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on notifications so you stay updated, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, yo.